Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So just to give you a little bit of warning, uh, this tutorial will be a little, a lot more, not a little, a lot more uh, code uh, intensive than any other tutorial we've done. Uh, because in this tutorial, we're going to be coding up the movement of the panel, of the menu panel that we made in the previous tutorial, right? So in the previous tutorial, we made this whole panel here. As you can see, we put these buttons in. Uh, uh, we put this arrow button here, which will move the panel back once it's moved over to the right. Uh, and we also put this TEDx image in, okay? So in this tutorial, we're going to be coding what happens when the user clicks the hamburger button and when they click the, uh, the arrow button to move back. So just to recap, when they click the hamburger button, this whole panel here is going to move over just like that. And when they click the arrow button, this whole panel is going to move back to its original position. Okay. So there's a few different things we need to do. Um, we're going to create, we're, we're going to be working with uh, some new uh, variable types, uh, namely Booleans. Um, if you don't know what a Boolean is, I'll put a description, I'll put a, a link to a, uh, to a URL. I'll put a URL at the, in, in the comment section. And that will, if you click on that, that'll take you to um, a web page that kind of explains uh, Boolean values a little bit more in detail. But in a nutshell, what a Boolean value is in computer science is that it is a, a it's just an, a, a true or false statement, right? Uh, a, bull, a Boolean expression can only be true or false, on or off, a yes or no, right? So... So what we do is what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to use those boolean values to when I click this hamburger menu button I'm going to I'm I'm going to have one uh I'm going to have two different boolean values for this system. I'm going to have one that is uh, move move uh menu panel over and then I'm going to have another boolean value that represents when we want to move the panel back. So when I click this hamburger button we're going to set the boolean value to move it over to true. Okay? And then when I click the arrow button to move it back, we're going to set the move back Boolean value to true. And then anytime I set one Boolean value to true, we're going to set its opposite value to false, right? So we're going to, have, again, we have two Boolean values, a, a, a move panel to the right value and then a move panel to the original position. So when I move the panel right value to true, when I set it to true, we're going to set the move back value to false and vice versa. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, if, if anytime you feel like you're getting lost, just pause the video. You can rewind the video and so, so you can uh, better understand what we're doing. OK, so and then once we have those values setting to true or false, uh, once we put those Boolean values in there, then we're going to write the code that will allow the program to move this panel over time. So over the course of several frames, we're going to move this panel over. Uh, don't worry if, if, you, if you feel a little overwhelmed. Um, I, I, if you follow along, you should get it, and, and I'll do my best to explain to you what is happening. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start it. So if you don't already have it, go ahead and open up your menu panel uh, movement uh, script. And when you double click it, you should open your Visual Studio. This is what we had before. And we, you should already be caught up to where we are now. We, we created these public game objects and this. If you if you need a refresher for this, just look up at the right hand of the screen and you can go back to the previous tutorial uh, by using that um, that link. OK. And I'll also put a link to it in the description of this video in the comments in the, in the description. So, OK, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to create. I'm going to go ahead and click down. Well, let's go back. I want to keep everything in order. So we're going to start here. We're going to click down a little bit and I'm going to create. Um, let's see. They don't have to be public. We're, we're going to make these private. Um, well, you know what? For now, we'll keep them public because you might want to see these in the inspector and I'll show you. So we're going to do a uh, public bull in C sharp. It's bull for Boolean. And we're going to create um, oh, we, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name when you move it over. I'm just going to call it move menu underscore panel okay and then uh, uh something else i want to teach you is that uh if you noticed up top here we had three of the same variable types meaning we had three game objects that we had here right and then i made three different lines for those game objects but uh, uh, an another way to do this is that i could have did, if I had three game objects, I could have put them all in one line. 
like so. I'll show you. I'll delete this. And then I will put a comma. So you have to put the comma. The comma is very important. And then we can delete the other one too. Show you here. And do a comma. And that is the same thing. But you've saved space because they're all in one line. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make one Boolean value. Uh, move menu panel. I'm going to do a comma. And then my second Boolean value uh, will be move underscore menu underscore panel underscore back. So now we have two Boolean values. One is called move menu panel. Another one is called move menu panel back. Okay. And then we are going to do, uh, and then we're going to end it like that. Okay. Don't forget that, that this right here, if you don't compile, sometimes it's because you didn't, you didn't put that there. Okay. So make sure you have that there. And then, uh, so we have our two Boolean values, you know, and I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, so if it's easier for you to read it, we can put it, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to move it back. Okay. So I'll put these back just so they're, it might be easier for you to read. I just, like I said, I wanted to show you a different way to, to do these. So we have our three game objects back here and we've got our two Boolean values. Okay. So, and I know we had a script earlier that would control buttons, but I'm going to put some functions in this script for the two buttons that control the menu panel moving in and out just because they kind of go with the script. I'm going to do the, do that there. So um, the first function I'm going to write down here, I'm going to do a public void. Um, we're going to call this move panel. Well, we'll just do it like this move panel. Okay. And then we're going to don't forget your brackets. Okay. Oh, and don't forget your open and close parentheses. Okay. And then your open and close brackets here. Okay. And then, uh, so when this piece right here is called, when we hit, when we hit our, uh, hamburger button in, in the, in the, uh, project, we're going to link it up. So it calls this piece of code and we hit the hamburger button. We're going to want to set move underscore menu panel, you know, the Boolean that we just made the move move menu panel, we're going to set it to true, right? Because we want to move that over. Um, not sure what happened there, but you want to move menu panel to true. And then we're also going to set, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to, and I'll explain this. It might seem kind of weird at first, but I'll explain it. The first thing you want to do is you want to set the um, the move menu panel back boolean to false. Okay. And I will try to explain why we're doing that. Okay. The reason we're doing this is because, um, and it become evident later, is that let's say I call to move the menu panel to true. And what that would do is that would, that would make, let me go to unity and show you when I click that, it's going to call code that will make this panel here move over. The reason we want to set the moving back to false is what if we were in the middle of moving this back and then we set move forward to true. Well, We've already, it already thinks it's moving back. And then if we set the move forward to true, it's going to be trying to call two pieces of code, one to move it this way and another move it to the right. So what's going to happen is it will get stuck and it will start bouncing back and forth like this. It just start doing that because it doesn't know which way you want it to go. So that's why we're going to, we're just going to make sure that if it is moving one way, we're going to set that to false because we want it to stop moving that direction and we want it to start moving the direction that we want it to move. Okay. It might be a little confusing, but you'll, you'll, you'll see uh, in a minute how that works. Okay. So, and then we're, I'm going to create another function. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this here. Well, I'm going to copy this whole piece. We're going to copy and then we're going to paste right here. And then we're going to call this move panel back. See what I did there. 
And then we're going to do basically the same thing. First thing I want to do, I'm going to cut this because I now, when it calls this piece of code, I'm going to want this set to false. Okay. And I'm going to set this one to true because now when I hit this piece of code, I want it, I want the move panel back to be true. Okay. Okay. So that's the first step that we need to do. We need to write these two functions instead of just like this false and true, false and true. Uh, yeah. So you need to do it just like this. Okay. Now we're going to, we're going to go to file. We're going to save all. We're going to back to unity. We're going to watch it compile over here. And then we're going to go ahead uh, while we're thinking about it, we're going to go ahead and set these buttons and show them like we've done before in, in the previous tutorials. And we're going to set this so that it will call those functions. So let's go ahead and make sure you have the hamburger button clicked here in your hierarchy. We're going to go here over here in your inspector. We're going to hit the plus symbol here. And we're going to drag over the canvas because remember our scripts are attached to the canvas. And then we're going to hit this right here and we're going to um, we're going to go to menu panel movement and we're going to find the function that we wrote is called move panel. That's all we got to do for that. Now we're going to do the same thing for the arrow. So make sure you click on the arrow and that that is un, that is we, that's image. We're going to call I'm going to go ahead and rename that to um, uh, 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 I'm just going to call it arrow arrow back. You can call it whatever you like. It's not, not a big deal, just as long as you know where it is. So now we have that click, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, this is, um, all right, we need to add the button component. There we go. And then we can make sure that we have that. So button, uh, button, Okay, should still work. So uh, what we did earlier is we had this image. We made an image, right, instead of a button. So um, the difference between a button and an image is just this button script here. Uh, so we're, I just had to go and add that button script. So uh, what I did is, uh, if, you, if you saw it, is I clicked on this, I went to add component, and then I added, I started typing in the button, and I just added the button there, okay? So now that you have the button there, we're going to click here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag the canvas over. We're going to drag the canvas over to the object. And then we're going to do menu panel movement. And in the function we write to move it back, we're going to move panel back. So now we set our buttons up. And just to show that these are being changed, uh, one thing we can do to test, and this is kind of important as well, is we can print to the screen. So we're going to do what we call a debug dot log. We're going to open up our parentheses and we're going to print the value of those variables. So we're going to print the value of the move panel. Uh, we're going to uh, move uh, menu panel. Okay. And then we're also going to print and then we're going to hit the uh, plus symbol. We're going to we're going to have a space because it, if we do, we're going to open quotations. We're going to do a few spaces there. So and you'll see why in a minute. Hit the plus and then we're going to print move panel back. OK. And don't forget that guy. OK. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to copy. And we're going to paste that here and this helps debug. So it helps us to know by doing this. So what's going to happen is we're going to set these values. We're going to set uh, move menu panel back to false. We're going to set move menu panel to true. And then we're going to print those values to the screen so we can make sure that it should be false and it should be true when we click the button. And it's going to do the same thing here. It's going to set these to false. It's going to set this to true. And then we're going to print those values on the screen just to make sure that it's doing what we should do. So we're going to hit file. We're going to save all. We're going to make sure that it's compiling. All right. No errors because we would have errors here or they would be errors on our console. There's not. So we're good. 
So what's going to happen, so let's go ahead and click on our console. And what happens is when we start playing this, we'll see that um, we'll, we'll, we'll see the values being printed here. And you'll see. So let's go ahead. Let's play that. So when I click this button, and so we've already got our first uh, error. Uh, null, uh, null reference exception, object reference not set to an instance object. That's our, in our but, button logic script. Um, so we need to make sure that... <laughs> Okay, so we had an error earlier, but what it was is that we had this old button logic script that we wrote, but we that was for the um, Hello World that we did, and that doesn't apply to this program. So I just unchecked it. Um, you could also uh, right-click on, we can remove that component, and then we won't get that error anymore. So if I hit play, um, and then we, and once I hit this hamburger button, see it printed true and false. And the true... Um, just so we know what these are, we can even go back to our code and we can we can hit, we can go to menu movement, go ahead and close this button logic here. And we can put um, the name so we can say, uh, we're, we're going to open up quotations and we're going to say move underscore menu underscore panel equals and then in, in C sharp, we have to we have to do the plus symbol. Otherwise, it doesn't know what to go with it. You always put a plus symbol between what you're printing. Or otherwise, it won't it won't work. It won't compile. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to do plus, and we're going to well, we already have the plus there. We're going to do a quotation, and then we're going to say the name of this variable, which was move underscore menu underscore panel underscore back back equals and then right after the quotation we're going to do space plus symbol space okay and then we're going to copy this and then we're going to replace this up here with what we just copied okay so now when we run it it would be a little more less confusing what variable equals what value okay we're going to save all we're going to go back here it's going to compile a little bit okay we're going to go ahead and hit this clear button. That this clear button will clear all of your messages, so that kind of makes it a little more, uh, a little cleaner when we're when we're um, running it. So we hit play, and when I hit this hamburger button here, it says move menu panel equals true, and the move menu menu panel back equals false. And let's double check what that's was it was supposed to be. And yes, we call move. It should be. Move menu panel should be true and move menu panel back should be false. And that's what we show here. Okay. So that's okay. That's that's big first step. We've got those doing now.